Hello. Today's topic is the communication protocols used by Azure Wiki 5 uh, for sending messages between the various servers that are used to make up the uh, distributed database. Um, we have IP as the main protocol on the net, and it's not used directly. Instead, there's TCP and UDP. Uh, most people use TCP because it's, it meets most applications' needs, uh, and it's also easy to use. Uh, TCP uh, provides windowing um, so that uh, the content is sent out in any order uh, up to a certain number of packets, which are, have an upper limit in their size. Uh, and as packs are received, it sends more packets out. Um, then on the receiver side, it uh, reassembles the packets, uh, and it uh, makes sure that uh, the data that it hands over to the receiver is uh, complete and in order as far as it's gotten. If there's any missing packets, uh, then uh, there's a, a request for the missing packets, and the packets are resent. Um, so there's also blocking, so that uh, if you just write one or two bytes uh, to the output stream, uh, these are not going to result in packets unless you do a flush. Um, it'll wait until you have a fair amount of data, a full packet, before it tries to send it. Um, one of the problems with TCP is that if you have a large number of uh, servers to interconnect, say 500, then each server needs 499 sockets uh, to connect to the other servers. And that, unless you're using NI NIO, uh, Java NIO, which is sometimes problematic, uh, you have to have a thread for each uh, of the sockets to receive incoming data. And often you have a thread for a, each socket for outgoing data. So that means you know, almost a thousand threads for, are dedicated just to communication um, when you have 500 servers. Uh, there's a way around that. Um, uh, Java Messaging Service is, has been developed to solve that particular problem. So now you have a communications hub. Every, every server sends messages to that hub and it then forwards the messages appropriately. Uh, this introduces another point of failure, uh, and it also increases latency. Uh, a better solution, I would think, for uh, a messaging system would be to use UDP. Uh, the disadvantage of UDP is that it is not a reliable protocol, so, and most applications don't want to have to deal with uh, adding reliability, but uh, you know, this is a fairly specialized application and latency is very critical uh, in a distributed database. So we don't have uh, the latency issues that we would have using TCP or even worse, uh, TCP uh, with JMS on top of it. Um, you send a packet, uh, the packet is sent. Uh, that's it. Um, you get a response, uh, the packet is sent. That's it. Um, so you have possibilities of, of collisions of packets and packets lost. Uh, when there's too much traffic. Uh, so the application has to handle that. Um, the way we do that, we have a short protocol. For handling short messages. Uh, this protocol is a, a request response protocol. Uh, you might think of it as a half duplex protocol. Um, so you send a request and um, a response comes back from the, uh, uh, from the server you sent the request to. And if you don't get a request, well, if, you, if you're not getting requests from a particular re server, um, then we should resend the oldest request. Um, so we gain reliability, um, we still have very low latency, and that's um, what we use mostly. Uh, in uh, our Agile Wiki 5 distributed database. Uh, there are times, however, um, when, we, when you're doing with documents that you may have larger uh, data blocks to transport, larger messages, then will fit in a, uh, an IP packet. So we have another layer 
which we use sometimes. It's uh, more expensive. We call it the long protocol because it handles uh, long, long messages. Uh, it breaks a, uh, a request or a response message into a series of short requests, um, which are then assembled by the, uh, the long protocol on, on the other side. Um, and that's it. It's uh, a pretty fast system. Um, short and long are written using uh, actors, so they're not very complex and they're very easy to get uh, working, relatively speaking, uh, compared to normal uh, asynchronous programming. And uh, it, it gets us what we need, it gets us where we're going, uh, with very low latency. So uh, uh, I think that we've got a winner here. Thank you.